Hello guys, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today, we are going to make a project on Django whose name is Content, Content Management System. So it's basically CMS. I guess it's very popular and you know what Content Management System means. So without much ado, let's look at the requirements first. First, you require a text editor where you're going to write your text, where you're going to write your code. So basically, uh, you can use any text editor, but uh, as you know, the most popular one being VS Code or Visual Studio Code. Secondly, you require an operating system because obviously your laptop cannot run without an operating system, right? I have used your Windows. You can use Linux, Unix, depends on you. Now, the important part is tools and tech used here. The backend framework is it's no brainer because this is a Django project. So the backend framework will be Django. The front-end used here is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And the database which is used here is SQLite 3. So I guess the initiation, the preface of the project is un well understood. Now we'll move to the code. And let's see if we can understand the code or not. Okay. So the name of this project is CRUD. So what do you mean by CRUD? I guess... Uh, as computer science students, as developers, you must know what's CRUD. This is basically four operations which are accumulated together. That is create, read, update, and delete. So let's move then. Let's move to the ASGI.python first. The ASGI configuration, this is for the CRUD project. And what it does, it exposes the ASGI collab label as a module label variable named application. Then if you want any more information, any updated data, something you did not understand, you can refer to this file here. The link, it will open a file, then you can read from there. Then we have import OS and from django.co.asj, we have imported get asj application. Then we are going to set the environment, that is Django settings module and crud.settings. Then the application will be get asj application. This is a function which is called and whatever uh, the value you will get, the return value you will get that will be stored in application. Let's move to settings.python. This is the settings for the CRUD project and it is generated by whom? The Django admin start project and using the Django version 4.0.1. Again, if you want any information on this file, the links are provided here. These are the full list of settings and the values. This is also provided. You can read from there. Then we have this line called the from path lib import path basically in django we have certain modules and those modules are imported certain functionalities are imported from certain modules and uh, as i have already said you multiple number of times it's very wise for a coder to divide your code into certain components and make small 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 components so that it will be easily accessible by the person who is reading debugging and writing your code after you are done. Like suppose you, are, you have thousands and thousands of lines of code you have written by yourself. But while uh, when you go to debug, like there is some error in the project. And when you go back to debug, you only do not understand what you have written. So it makes of no sense, right? Because all your efforts go in vain. Or suppose one of your friends need to continue the project from where you have left. If that person is not able to understand what you have written, then he may he is not able to continue from there. So basically, all your efforts will go in vain. That's why multiple components are created in a large project so that debugging, accessing and understanding the project becomes very easy. I guess you understood. Next step is we are going to build path inside the project. So the base directory, the path will be created and uh, from the parent. Then the development settings will be suitable for the production. Then we have the security warning and we have got the secret key. Then let's see the installed applications. These are the application definitions, the middleware, the URL configuration, the templates, the WSGI application. Then these are the databases. So just a minute. Yeah. Then password valid validation. The passcode validation is done. The user authentication is done. So basically in the Django, we use a concept called super user. So who is a super user? A person who has complete access in the project. Like suppose I am going to use 
a system i will have the access only to my account i can create delete update my account only but i can't do the same op edit operations in your account because that will breach your privacy right that is against the system but a person who is a super user the term super user is basically coined to a person who has access to all the accounts basically the boss okay now let's move to the urls.python so the urls.python is yeah the urls.python so here in case the urls.python we have certain urls destined here so the crud url configuration is right there you can add some function views some class based views and some url configuration now we have the from django.conti we imported admin and from django.url so we imported path and fruit so basically whatever modules or whatever already files you have created somewhere else you can import it here and you can use it like suppose i want urls.python to be used in my main so i can directly write that import urls.python from main so very easy right then url patterns are this path admin admin.site.urls and path include main.urls this is wsgi.python it is mostly same as asgi.python only in case of asg we have used wsg cool now under the main we have admin.python so here we have done from django.country import admin for models import post and admin.site.register ports so basically you are going to register your models there then apps.python from django.apps you have to import app configuration and from class main configuration what do you do you uh, have this app configuration then the default auto field is is django.db.models.big auto field okay then we have this models.python in models.python you have imported the models and you have used a post method to get the models so you have put some max length some blank value some null value the test.python you import test cases for urls.python you import certain urls and for views.python basically you get the http response the posts ids the requests the get request the post requests you can update the request you can read the request you can have the index of the request so enough of normal understanding now what we are going to do is we are going to run it now let's see how do we run let's go to the terminal let me do the clear first see you are inside this crud django main now what we are going to do the basic line python manage.py run server taking some time to run okay control flick see this is our crud project so this is basically a project which i have created just to make you understand about the cms so these are basically the lorem ipsum which i have written you can change it right let me update you can change it right here this content is deleted adding let's sorry chango today okay let's update let's okay update. see adding then you can uh, read if this is my read i read i can't edit here right? i just can read here then delete i can delete this the post has been successfully deleted so it gets deleted see after refresh this post is not there so basically these are the functionalities which i have used in the current project i hope this project is clear to you for more interesting project ideas stay tuned to our channel thank you and have a great day everyone Thank you.